So today we have Jenna with me. We're going to be talking a little bit about timpani. So first things first is we're going to get into tuning the actual timpani first. Um, so the first thing that we do is we make sure that all the pedals are all the way down to the heel when we're first starting with tuning. And then uh, I'm going to walk through the whole process and then I'm going to have you explain how after I show you. So we'll just start with this first drum here. And we're going to tune that to a B flat. So what I'll do when you're over there is I'll actually be over here. I'll play a B flat. So and as you're sitting over here, what you're going to do, you want to come around here actually. Awesome. So you can see what I'm doing. You're going to take your right foot when we're tuning. You're going to hit in that bead spot we talked about last week. And you're going to have that pitch come in your head. So and you're going to come over here, hit it in that bead spot. So the initial time, you're going to have your ear as close as you can to the drum. And you're going to hit it once. I think that's way low. Start with that B. Actually, we'll go with a very low drum first. I think I put the pedal all the way down. Awesome. Okay. So we'll start with that one all the way over there. Okay. Um, we'll only hit it twice. We'll hit it initially, and then at the very end, once you think you got that pitch. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with G. I'll play the upper octave too. So go ahead and lower it all the way down. We'll try it one more time. All the way down? Yep. Awesome. Ready? Super close on the G. This one we're going to tune to a B flat now. So I'll go ahead and. Okay, good stop. Right there, what is that? Are you sharp? Flat? Sharp. So we'll try it again. Go ahead and go all the way back down. Try it one more time. Okay, how about that one? Yep. Okay. How about that? I think that's nice. We're a little we're a little flat, so we'll do it one more time. Okay, go ahead and lower it all the way back down. Okay. We're close. We are so close. What do you think it is? Flat. Yeah, we're flat still. So go ahead and 
do it one more time. This time, try to push your foot a little bit back, just, just to get up a little bit higher. Just a little bit more, not too much, okay? Let's try it one more time. We're close, we're close, okay? Try it one more time, like just listen. Like, hit, and go. Okay, we're a little flat. Go ahead and push it a little bit more. Um, It might have been too much. It was a little sharp. Go ahead and lower it all the way back down. Sorry. One more time. One last time. Pretty close. We'll leave it right there, okay? <laughs> Pretty close. That's the closest we've been, so we'll leave it there. Um, this one we'll go ahead and do an E this time. Um, try to hum a little bit louder as you're going up. And as you're going up, try to listen for like the wave. So you can hear the wave, like if it's in or out of tune. So make sure we're trying to listen. Yeah, make sure we're trying to listen for that, okay? So this one will be an E. Try it one more time, all the way down. So if we're going too high, that's been the consistency. What do we want to do? Not press the pedal down as far. Yeah, not press the toes of it as far down. Mm -hmm. Let's try it one more time. It's just a little bit too sharp. So just try, try tuning in a little bit more, making sure that stays in the middle. Okay, ready? I think we'll be. Go ahead and hit it. Flat. 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 Let, me get let me let me go ahead and tune this one. I'll go ahead and do it. At least not. Okay. 
Go ahead and sit back down. Oh, uh, all right. So then the next thing we're going to talk about, since we have the tuning out of the way now, we're going to talk about our single strokes. Okay. So kind of talked about it a little bit last week on the B spot. You remember where roughly that we want to stay in between when we're talking about the B spot? Around the edges, about like. So we want to, we don't want to hit in the middle of the drum, obviously, right? Um, we want to keep it around this area, right about there, just making sure that we're looking for what kind of sound. Resonant ringing. Yeah, very oak, like a very ringing, uh, very resonant sound. Keep that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and use this drum here, and we're just gonna do a couple strokes. When we're doing our strokes, we want to make sure that we're having enough rebound for it to just come back up on its own. We're not trying to lift the sticks up, mm -hmm. right? So let's go ahead and try that. Um, making sure we're staying in the bead spot and I'll count you off. So I'm going one, two, three, four, and then one. Try to make the beginnings a little bit more articulate. So, dum, 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 dum. Uh, just making sure that rebound is there. Okay? We'll do it one more time. In one, two, three. Awesome. That's good. Okay? Um, so, let's go ahead and do the same thing on this one. Um, but we're going to do our left hand. We'll do a left hand on this one that way we can get them like kind of even. Okay? This one is a little bit smaller, so then where is the B spot around still? Closer to the edge. Yep. But still oh. like one a little less than. Yeah, yeah. So not as far in as this one. This one's a little bit bigger, it's not too much bigger, but the B spot is good right about there, right? So then this one's gonna be a little bit farther from that from the center. If you think about it that way, it's a little bit easier. Okay? So a little bit farther, so go ahead and find that beat spot. Okay, so that was good. We'll do eight of them like you did on the other drum, but with the left hand this time. Uh, making sure it's loose, that rebound is right there, okay? So we'll do one, two, three. Okay, good. Um, the one thing that I'm seeing is like, you're kind of stiff with the left hand, more so than the right. So making sure that we're keeping the... Making sure that's staying very loose, okay? We'll try that one more time with the left hand. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, try to shake your wrist a little bit. Try to use your wrist. Yeah, well, not so much as you're playing it, just to loosen it up, because um, it looks like you're using your arm more so than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're playing, your right hand didn't have this problem. I would say try to use more wrist. So okay. dum, dum, dum. We'll just play four this time. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, even better. Like okay. I, get, I can hear it in the tone. I don't know if you can, but I, I think that was a lot better. Okay. okay. So then we're going to go ahead and move on to this third line here with the high and low. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. What we're going to do, though, is your left hand is going to be on the lower drum on the B flat, and then your right hand is going to be on the higher drum of the Okay. okay. So we'll just go through and do the first two bars. Okay. All right. So actually, I'll play it first, and then I'll have you do it right after me. That way you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Okay. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Those two, 
scores? Do you think you can handle both of them at the same time? I think so. Both are awesome. Okay. Three, one, two, three. Okay, good. Make sure that we're maintaining the B plus though, right? Yes. That's, that's a big factor. Okay. So let's try that one more time, making sure we're keeping those B plus. Three, one, two, ready. the whole thing together then and then just listen for those last two okay, okay. you can see it right mm -hmm. Make sure we're running on time here. Yeah, a little over time, way over time. That's okay. Um, next, we're gonna focus on the muffling factor. So go ahead and get up. No, so we, what exactly we're gonna be doing when we're talking about muffling? So um, after every note that we play, we have kind of like that big ringing sound, right? So to get rid of that kind of have to stop it from vibrating, right? Mm -hmm. So we're only going to focus on our right hand with it right now, but just to get the main concept out and then we'll work on the left hand next week. But as soon as you're done playing and you want that ringing to stop completely, or at least majority of it, you're going to take your left hand that's not playing and you're going to rest it on it. So. Next week we'll get into 
switching all the hands around and using our left hand more so than our right. Um, so really good job today. That was really good.